Hello, in this video, we'll discuss a Sybase ASE to SQL Server database migration project. Let's start with exploring the customer's original system. It included several Java applications connected to a Sybase ASE database. Some data from this database was transported to a Sybase IQ database. The ETL process, built on the Red Hat Linux shell, was performing this task. Here are the main reasons to migrate from Sybase ASE to SQL Server. Poor support for IBM AIX. High licensing costs for Sybase ASE compared to SQL Server. A lack of qualified Sybase ASE support specialists. Let's take a look at the database migration steps for this project. First, we convert all the Sybase ASE source database objects to the SQL Server target database. Some of these objects can be converted automatically using the SQL Server Migration Assistant, and the rest of them require manual conversion. Next up is the data migration process. We also upgraded all Java applications in two steps. First, reconnecting them from the Sybase ASE source database to the SQL Server target database. And second, we made code modifications to match the new SQL Server standard. Now we have to update the ETL scripts to extract data from the new SQL Server source database and load it into the Sybase IQ database. Later, the customer executes the functional testing and performance testing. At the same time, we finish any necessary bug fixes and provide support. After testing is finished, we start migrating the Sybase ASE database into the production version of SQL Server. We provided all the needed SQL Server support during the final system's work testing. Thank you for watching this video.